What's up YouTube? So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Miami Dolphins running game versus the Atlanta Falcons. Um, one thing I do love is that NFL Plus now has all 22 film for preseason games, which is pretty fantastic. And it actually got to me pretty quickly. Um, hopefully NFL Plus is more stable this year. And we get our all 22s on time. If that happens, I'll be singing its praises instead of bashing it as much as I have been. Um, but if you guys were around when, you know, it was NFL Game Pass instead, I sung its praises because it was fantastic. But NFL Plus barely worked last year. <laughs> so we'll see. But anyway, we, I am going to be looking at the offensive, well, the offensive line and the running backs as a whole. Um, I do love the amount of motion that we're showing even in preseason. That was something that was kind of a little bit absent last year. Uh, it definitely existed in the regular season. But we, it, it was like we were trying to kind of keep it a secret. And Miles Gaskin played pretty well. Uh, not bad movement there from Eichenberg. Um, also, I do have our roster pulled up here just because there are a lot of new faces and, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> so, uh, 62 is the rookie. Aguave. He played quite a bit. Oof. That, that's rough. I don't like the hand placement at all. Just gave him your chest. Kind of leaning. Yeah, you just get pushed over. Yeah. Overall, the offensive line play was pretty rough the whole game. Was the next play? No, that's a that's a pass. Okay. Pretty good vision there. One thing I do like about Gaskin is his second effort yards. Like, he's going to keep his... He's a small-ass dude, but he keeps his feet moving pretty well. What the hell? Oh, I see. This was a miscommunication. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Austin Jackson is assisting in this block. They're blocking together. So, <laughs> he's going to come off of Austin. He's going to come off of that block, assuming Austin Jackson's going to pick it up, and it doesn't happen, so he just kind of runs free. Because he's moving up to block the linebacker. I think he still thinks Austin Jackson is blocking him. Yeah. Lester Cotton. There, there's a lot of miscommunications on the offensive line in this game. solid that's not bad he sealed it up pretty well on the left side pretty good block from Saubert I don't think this is a run is it no So in Sobert as the fullback. And this is something I like too, is us using our tight ends in these situations. This is why I didn't want to keep John Lovett. Just have a tight end be a fullback if Al if something happens to Alec. Gotta cut back, make the first guy miss. I love Miles Gaskin, dude. I really do. The offensive line isn't playing particularly well here. <laughs> Miles Gaskin just makes the first guy miss and bursts through. 
I feel like we've got to run with four running backs this year. Because I, I just think that Gaskin, when he does have to play, I, I do think he steps up for you. All right, what the hell? There we go. Okay, that play is broken. All right, fuck that play then. Okay, here we go. So, still some glitches from NFL Plus, I see. Love that from Eric. Uh, he is definitely more of a big boy yak guy. I love this little end around. Make this, make this guy miss with some physicality, a good spin. Nice little stiff arm. Definitely need to see more of that from Eric this year, or really anything at all from him. Okay, we get three more runs consecutively. Got it. This play broken too. Okay, there we go. See, that's what I love too. We just gave him an end around. And then we're going to get him in motion again. But don't hand it to him. Going to give it to Gaskin. Second effort yard. Oh my god. This dude's a buck 90. <laughs> He's just so hard to tackle. He makes one, two, like two people had a shot at him there. This isn't good offensive line play. This is just Miles Gaskin. This this breaks down immediately. Who's is that? That's no, that's actually Robert Jones that fucks up here. He just kind of misses. Oh man. I love Miles Gaskin. I really do. It's tough to compete with, you know, Devon A. Chain, um, you know, Jeff Wilson, Raheem Mostert, because those guys are more athletically gifted. But Gaskin is just a, such a tough motherfucker. And Vision. Look at that. I know it's preseason. I understand. And that is that this is well blocked. Gonna take this guy. They just combine like like fucking Voltron and seal up that right side and Gaskin doesn't need you to hold it for long. Shifty little bastard too. Alright, we got Devon H in there now. What happened there? Ugh. So Robert Jones and um, Aluave are combo blocking this guy. Robert Jones doesn't really get a good hold on that base is ugly. Ugh. Aluave doesn't really get a good hold of him. That arm's just out there. Yeah, he just let this defensive lineman control his elbow. He just gave him his elbow. Just gave him his chest. And that allows him to extend Aluave away from the play, and that's how he's able to make this tackle. Oof. That's ugly from Aluave and Robert Jones. Aluave more so. But... That is ugly. 
I mean, a four-yard run isn't terrible. But with better execution from our center, that could have been a much bigger play. Especially with the burst that AJ brings. All right, get Croft in motion. And then, okay. There's nowhere to go there. So we're, we bring Croft in motion to kind of lure people away. And then we're going to have some guys pull to the left. Looks like A-Chain's looking in that direction, but nothing really, nothing really opens up. See, I need Robert Jones to like actually attack, not catch, not catch this guy. If he catches, I mean, if if he actually attacks this guy and seals him off, this is a big gap potentially. Yeah, because Croft does his job, but Robert Jones kind of blows this. So A chain tries to just get what he can. Okay. All right, we get three yards in a row here. Here's another end around. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's a great fake, too. That's a great fake. That's good. Oh, he faked that to A-Chain very well. It psyched out the linebacker, pulled him away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going toward A-Chain. That's a fantastic fake. That's... Mike White sold that very well. Like, obviously, Eric is going to get the credit for that because he's the one making the athletic play, but Mike White's ability to sell this and get everybody moving the other direction... And the fact that there was no flag. <laughs> also, I realized that uh, Freddie Swain was released. I'll probably make a video on that, too. Um, I don't know if this film session will come out first or me talking about the new roster moves, but whatever. This is being recorded first. Oof. Eric Sobert. Okay, so... Eric Sauber is going to pull here. Great block by Robert Jones. Croft is doing a good job too. Saubert's job is now the linebacker, but he kind of just tries to check him instead of, you know, put his hands on him and drive. He doesn't really try to get his hands inside, and the linebacker is able to just kind of get right past him. Good finish by Robert Jones. I think we got one more run, right? So much motion. All right, what happened there? How did you squeeze through? Oof. That is rough. You can't be that slow to react, man. Your hands suck. Oh my god, that is hideous. That is horrible. got a four yard run let's take a peek at that okay he kind of missed oh yeah that was bad <laughs> that was bad That was horrendous. That's that. That's not who causes this. This is uh, Aluave. Um, that's decent initially. 
You are kind of giving up your chest a little bit. His arms seem kind of short. Yeah. Yeah, he's got your chest. You pull cloth. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. All right, we get uh, three yard, uh, yeah, three runs in a row here. This ain't looking good for Aluave, man. <laughs> it's, it's really not. Good block by Isaiah Wynn, though. But, bro, you, you can't be mixing with your hands this much. That's much better from Robert Jones. That's much better. <laughs> and I understand there's going to be rust, too. Because, like, with offensive line, there's only so much you can get away with it at, at, in practice. Hey, man. That's not a horse collar, dude? He's got him in a rear naked choke. Look at that. <laughs> what the fuck? Unnecessary roughness something? That looked like that, uh, that play with, wasn't it Andre Johnson? <laughs> No, no, no. It was uh, A.J. Green, I'm thinking. Andre Johnson was the one that beat up Cortland Finnegan. Rear naked choke, with, I think, was A.J. Green. Okay. It's a little better from Aloave. It's not great. Look how... Ugh, his base is terrible. <laughs> Alright. Good job. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, I'm aware of him. He hasn't been looking that great so far this game. I just don't know how to say his name. Um, I didn't know how to say it when we signed him either. <laughs> That's why I haven't. I'll just refer to him as 75. Or right tackle. Uh, I wasn't counting. Okay, we got one more. I think the last one is a punt. Or, I don't, I don't remember. Whatever. Um, not a punt. Let's see. Oof. So, Robert Jones is pulling here. Why does he get delayed? Oh. He runs into Aluave because Aluave is getting his ass. Oh, that's not Aluave. Is that Isaiah Wynn? Isaiah Wynn's getting his ass beat. That's what it is. <laughs> Isaiah Wynn's getting his ass beat, and he runs into his opponent. Tyler Croft completely misses this linebacker. I think that was a kind of a missed assignment. Pretty sure he was supposed to help him chip this guy and then climb to the linebacker, but he just never does it. So Robert Jones is then trying to have to... Oh, that's ugly. Oh, I love the finish from Tyler Croft, though. That's not Croft. Is that Sobert? Yeah, it's Sobert. My bad. I love that. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, minus one yard run. Gotta love those. Oh, Skylar Thompson. I think that's who we're looking at right now. I am interested to kind of look at Julian Hill here, too. Oh, is getting bench-pressed right now. Look at that. <laughs> He's taken for a fucking ride. Feet are all over the place, bending over backwards. Ugh, hand placement is dog shit. Ryan Hayes ain't looking too bad, though. Over here at left tackle. He kind of handles his business. Gets his hands inside decently. There you go. How'd Isaiah Wynn do? Good hand. Eh, decent. Eh. Hand placement was good in the beginning. 
By the way, he got fucking bench pressed back to the running back, though. That's tough. By the way, I just want to say, I really fucking miss this. I really did. Making film sessions on, like, current events. It's fantastic. Is that all we got from Ryan Hayes? Damn. Uh, start off good, Julian. Uh, at least one hand was well placed. The left is not. Base is all over the place. West of Cotton. That's not bad. Great vision from A Chain. Not afraid of some gritty yards. We knew that, though. Three-yard run from Chris Brooks. I'm not going to lie. Um, before I decided to do this video, I was actually doing just a Devon A-Chain video. But I ended up talking more about the offensive line, so I started over and just did an entire running game video instead. Because I think it makes a little bit more sense. All right, Chris Brooks. Let's see, let's see. Oh. That's ugly. Yo, Lester Cotton's pissing me off. <laughs> Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? You're not climbing to anybody. Where are you going? Uh oh. Oh, that's that's horrid. That is horrid. That, uh... Ooh. That, uh... Tunstall? Isn't that how you pronounce it? 79? Oh, no, that's, uh... Cedric. Okay. Yeah, I can't... I don't know how to pronounce it. That guy's last name, either. I forget. That's, that's horrendous. He's another one I didn't know how to pronounce his name when they signed him. Ugh. That's better for Malawave. I hate his hand still. I hate that. <laughs> Your hand's on his fucking nameplate. Get that bitch inside. Why are you hugging him? But Lester Cotton takes the cake. I don't know where he's. I don't know where the fuck he's going. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, two yards and run. Oh wow, that that's very different. A ten yard run and a negative one. The tale of two plays. If NFL Plus will bless us, oh, it's gonna let me see it. Oh my god. Yeah. Chris Brooks is definitely more of a power back. Definitely not as bursty as some of our other guys. Um, very decisive. Shows a little bit of that power there. Definitely a one cut type of guy. It's, that's 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 better from Lesser Cotton. That's much better. I don't want to just shit on him. Uh, that's better from Alawave too. Yeah. Yeah, this is just, just well, that, that's a face mask and a half. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Trying to rip that bitch off. Looking like uh, Optimus Prime. And what was it? Was it Revenge of the Fallen? Give me your face. I think it was Revenge of the Fallen. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. My bad. I literally said a 10-yard run and then a negative one. 
that implies two runs. Oof. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, that's a receiver. Not blocking great. He kind of pushed him into him. That's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I know he's a receiver, but he pushed the corner into him. He assisted him. Does that count as an assisted tackle from Eric Izukama? Is Does that work? Just wondering. All right, last run play. That's not a fucking run. Oh, right. Skyler going to run? Okay. Right, right, right. Okay. Not as much to break. Well, I guess I can look at some pass pro here. That's a decent combo block. Let's look at what's going on over here. Kind of slow feet. Waits way too long. Doesn't punch. Hands are all over the place. He's leaving his chest wide open. Knee bend is... Yeah. Good job from Skyler, though. Make something out of nothing. I ain't mad at that. Okay. Um, but anyway, that's uh, a quick look at our run game from this game from the uh, Falcons game. Overall, I think the run was decently successful. Um, the running backs, I think, all played fairly well. Uh, I think I would like to carry four running backs into the regular season. I think the three locks are, you know, Jeff Wilson, Raheem Moster, and Devon A-Chain. And I would like to keep one more. Right now, that would be Miles Gaskin. The ideal situation would be Chris Brooks plays so well as a power back that we can't cut him. Because we don't really have another power back on this team. Jeff Wilson is kind of that, but not really. Um, plus... There's the added benefit that Miles Gaskin and Savon Ahmed, who is the other person competing for that fourth spot, they both only have one-year deals. Chris Brooks we would have for very cheap for at least three years with a fourth-year option to also keep him for very cheap. But obviously we want to keep the best player. So ideally Chris Brooks would step the fuck up in show why we can't cut him. Do I think that will happen? No, and we might only run with A-Chain, um, Moster, and Jeff Wilson. I would like to keep a fourth, especially if we are going to run the ball as much as it sounds like we are, and Moster has an injury history. Um, so I would like to have a little bit more depth. And I think that you know A-Chain, Wilson, and Moster, I think they're all going to play a significant amount. So I wouldn't mind having an actual backup running back that's going to have fresh legs that can play. So that's my thoughts. But anyway, I'd love to hear what y'all have to say. If you like this video, I'd appreciate hitting that like button. Have any questions or comments in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.